Hey guys, welcome to another video. In today's video, we are going to be trying out some products from Jaclyn Cosmetics. Now, I know that on Instagram it's Jaclyn Hill Cosmetics, but I noticed on her website she is calling herself Jaclyn Cosmetics. I placed a couple orders on Ulta to pick all of these things up. I did get a face duo in Pink Me Up and Oh Honey. I picked up a highlighter mini. This is not the full size, this is the mini. I got the shade Iced, and then I do have one of her liquid lipsticks in I'm a Cancer. So I've been trying them for a few days. I've actually been trying them for about a week. I have some thoughts on them. We're gonna do a little demo and I'll share my thoughts with you while I am applying these on my face. But if you are new here, hello, my name is Kelly. I love all things makeup and beauty. I love talking, I love makeup, I love talking about makeup. So if you like talking about makeup too, I would love to have you subscribe and stay a while. But why don't we go ahead and get into the video. Okay, so I did purchase my face products at Ulta and then I picked up the liquid lipstick on Jaclyn Hill's website or Jaclyn Cosmetics website. These duos are called the Bronze and Blushing Duos. They're $36 on the Ulta website. I initially wanted to get the Warm Flush shade. That's the shade that caught my eye right off the bat, but it was one of the ones that was out of stock on the Ulta website and I wanted to purchase there because points, you know? And so the Warm Flush shade was the one that had more of like a neutral toned blush and then a bronzer. And I'm not sure if it's the same bronzer. Let me see. It's not. It's a different bronzer. Warm Flush and Golden Goddess. Either way, I ended up going with this one after seeing a few videos floating around of people who have purchased multiple of these duos. And they said that all of the light shades kind of look the same. So in just out of curiosity and wanting to try out her brand, I did go ahead and pick this one up in the Pink Me Up and Oh Honey. Then her highlighters, a full size highlighter is $29 and there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight shades. But Awestruck and Iced are the two that come in a mini and the mini is $16. So the iced is said to be an iced champagne and awestruck is a blushing rose. So this is what the mini looks like right here. I'm a fan of minis, definitely recommend them. And then for the lipstick today, I did purchase this from the Jaclyn Cosmetics website and I purchased the shade I'm a Cancer. I kind of wanted to try the liquid lipsticks out first before they launched on the Ulta website because I love liquid lipsticks. So if I enjoyed this formula, I wanted to pick up several shades. When they come to Ulta, that should be coming later in May. So I just picked one up for now. These are $20 on the Jaclyn Cosmetics website. But let's go ahead and jump into the duo. You can watch me apply all of these on the face and then you'll hear my thoughts. Okay, so I have you zoomed in. We're nice, up close, and personal. And I'm gonna start out by applying the blush and bronzer. Now, I got the one with the blush in Pink Me Up and the bronzer in Oh Honey. And I did get this on the Ulta website. This was one of the ones that when I purchased it, it was in stock and the others were out of stock. And initially I thought I was gonna get the Warm Flush, which had more of a coral, and I think the bronzer might have been a bit deeper. But y'all, I heard so many people, I watched a few reviews, and I heard so many people talking about how these lighter shades like all looked the same. And they were like, if you have more of like a fair to light skin tone, you can pretty much get the same look using any of these. So although this paint Pink is a little bit more pink than my personal preference. I decided to go with this one anyway. So I'm gonna go in with this random crown brush and what I've been liking to do, that sounded weird, what I like to do is dip into the powder a little bit and press it. Press it first because this is a pretty fair bronzer, but I do find that I'm able to build it up. But by pressing it in first, I'm depositing the pigmentation where I want it, and then I can blend out after. 
And also, y'all, don't mind my hair. I know that it looks a little bit of a mess, but I'm kind of on a hair journey. I'm on a hair journey because my hair is not curly. It's not curly, but it did have like a natural wave to it when I was younger. And in college, which was over a decade ago for me, I used to wear my hair wavy. I would scrunch it. And lately I've been wanting to get into that just because my daughter has curly hair. If you're new here, my daughter is biracial. My husband is black and my daughter has beautiful, beautiful curly hair, but I just feel like, I mean, my hair is not straight. I normally do like blow dry it and flat iron it, but it does have a bit of a wave to it. And I feel like as a young girl, you know, you just kind of look up to, or at least I did, you look up to the women in your life who you're around every day. And those women tend to be like who your idea of beauty is when you're younger. So if I could get my natural wave back, I would love to do that so that, you know, I probably won't wear it like that all the time. This is what it looks like right now. And this was after I washed it yesterday, tried to scrunch it with mousse, and then I slept with it in a braid last night because it looked so bad yesterday and I still feel now I'm gonna go in I'm gonna try and build the bronzer up a bit but this is the BK Beauty 103 I feel like my hair still looks stringy you know even after braiding it and even after adding in some product I even cut like seven and a half to eight inches off of my hair thinking if my hair is shorter I can get the scrunch back plus I live in Texas so it's like I don't always want to blow dry my hair now you can see here the bronzer to me does look like a matte bronzer but I almost feel like it's not like a flat matte, which I appreciate because I do have dry skin and I'm wearing the Good Apple Foundation. So it's not like a luminous foundation. A lot of my foundations are luminous, like Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk. It, it cosmetics your skin, but better. A lot of my foundations do cater to more of a dewy, luminous look. But the good apple, I feel like, is pretty matte. So you can see, I am able to build this up. And I feel like it looks a little bit more pigmented in person, too, just because I do use a ring light to film. So I feel like that takes some of the color out. But if you're looking at this and you're thinking, wow, that's pretty light, it is light. And it does apply lightly, but I'm able to build it up. So I would say if you have fair to light or even like, sorry, sorry, that was probably kind of rude. Um, even like not medium, but like a light tan. I feel like you could use this bronzer. Now, I really, I don't think that if you have a medium skin tone that this bronzer is going to be the best for you. I don't think it'll show up like I'm able to build it up enough for my liking but I do have a light complexion. But if you're someone who's light, almost medium, light tan, light to fair, this bronzer will work for you. I just appreciate going in with a more densely packed brush first and packing it on and then blending it out with my BK Beauty. And you can see there is like there's no shimmer, no specks of glitter, but it's not a flat matte. I don't even want to necessarily say that there's a luminosity because I don't know that there is. It's just not a flat matte. Now I am going to go in with my Sigma F40 Large Angled Contour. It's a little stained, but I'm going to go in to the pink blush here and pink me up and get a little bit on here. And what I like to do is I like to start at the back and then bring it onto the apples of my cheeks and kind of mesh my blush and bronzer together. At first I was afraid 
that I wasn't necessarily going to like this color because I tend to go for more like tan neutral vibes, almost like peachy blush. And this one is pink, but this one I feel like same, it's not a flat matte. There are no specks of glimmer, glimmer, no specks of glitter, but I feel like I don't, I don't want to call it a sheen. I don't think it's a sheen, but it's just not dull and flat. Do you guys know what I mean? Am I making any sense at all? Now I did prime with my Glow Recipe Niacinamide Dew Drops and that does give me a little bit of a healthy glow, but again, the Good Apple Foundation is matte. So some of the healthy, glowy look that I'm getting, some of that's probably coming from the Niacinamide Drops and some of that is probably coming from the blush and bronzer duo. Now again, with this blush, I think you're able to build it up, but it starts out with a light amount of pigment and then you build, which I prefer. I do have, I do have some blushes where it's like, I do one little tap and I go a little overboard. Now, if you have a blush like that, you can always go in with a fluffier brush. This brush is pretty fluffy, but I also chose it because of the shape. And so I feel like I can pack on, I can do the pressing motion back here and then blend on the apples of my cheeks. But I feel like it looks nice and healthy. I hope it's showing up for you guys on camera. I do like this blush and actually I think it'll be really nice for spring. I have this eye look I used creating the eyeshadow palettes that I talked about in my top picks for spring, which should already be up on my channel. But I feel like this brush, this brush, this blush and bronzer duo would be very nice for some spring looks. Now for the highlighter, I did get a mini and guys, I mean... Unless you're someone who goes through a lot of highlighter, I feel like a mini is the way to go. I don't know about price per gram or anything like that, but this mini in the shade Iced is, I want to say like $15 or $16. Now, I have a ton of highlighters in my collection, but even if this were my only highlighter, it's going to take you a while to get through. I'm just going to wipe off my brush really quick. I'm going in with my Sigma Tapered Highlighter F35 and just getting a little bit on my brush and putting that right on the high points of my cheekbones. There are several shades of this highlighter, but Iced is like the golden champagne. And then there's one that's more of like a rose gold pink in the mini. Those are the only two that are in the mini. So if you want a mini, you have to kind of pick between those two shades instead of all of the shades. So you'll have to look. Now, this is de this shade's definitely gonna be for someone with fair to light skin tone. I feel like perhaps like tan to medium could get away with it, but I mean, look, it's very, whoa, you can see it right there. It's very icy. If you like a more muted, toned down, neutral highlighter, this is not the way to go. Me, personally, this is the highlighter that I like. I want a bam, in-your-face highlight. I want to look like I'm glowing, but again, I'm not one for glitter. I don't want glitter specks. I don't want glitter chunks. There's no glitter in this, but it just makes my dry skin look so glowy and healthy and dewy, and I love it. I absolutely love it. Now, I was not able to get my hands on any of the lip liners. I'm waiting for the lip liners and lipsticks to come to Ulta. And these released, oh gosh, in at the end of March, I think are when her lipsticks and lip liners released on her website. I purchased all of this from Ulta. I'm not sure if I said that in the intro or not, but the, the lip, liquid lipsticks and lip liners released at the end of March on her website, and they're coming to Ulta in May. I know that I am a liquid lipstick lover, love a liquid lipstick, absolute favorite of mine, 
and I wanted to try one out before going ham and purchasing more. So I'm a Cancer is one of the ones that was on my list to get and it was in stock on her website before she did another restock. So that's the one that I have, but I don't have any lip liners. So I'm just gonna go in with my Charlotte Tilbury Lip Pencil and Pillow Talk simply because it's in my project pan and I'm trying to use it up, but I'm going to go ahead and use this to line my lips and fill them in just a teeny, teeny, tiny bit like on the edges. And here you have the liquid lipstick in the shade I'm a Cancer. Now in the photos that I've seen online and on her website, I don't know if the models just have like a deeper skin tone or if it's the editing of the pictures or what, but I was expecting I'm a Cancer to be a nude and to be a deeper nude, but not this deep. I didn't expect it to be so like deep brown. I don't dislike it. I do enjoy it and I will definitely wear this color like I'll wear it to work. I'll wear it on the weekends. It just wasn't what I expected in the pictures that I saw online. One thing to note about this liquid lipstick formula is it does dry down and it dries down completely but it takes a little bit of time. It's not one of those that the minute you apply it, it's, it's absolutely dry. You do have to wait to let it sit a little bit, but I do not get the line and creasing on the inside, which I truly appreciate. It's comfortable on my lips. It doesn't make my lips feel dry, and I have dry skin and dry lips, okay? I come from the land of dry. <laughs> but it does not look dry or cakey on the lips. It's very long lasting. I've been wearing this all week at work. And on top of that, it's very pigmented. One swipe of this is all you need to apply your lipstick. I don't have to go in the bottom layer, dip in again, go into the top. I literally pull it out, apply onto my lips, and put it back in. It's fully pigmented. It does have a creamy consistency, but it's not thin and watery. So I do really enjoy this liquid lipstick, and when more of them, more shades, well, I guess these shades aren't at Ulta at all, but when the liquid lipsticks come to Ulta, I will definitely be picking up more. But why don't we go ahead and zoom out and I'll give you my final thoughts. Okay, so let's talk final thoughts. First of all, the face duos. The packaging is very thick. A lot of people have said that they have a hard time storing it because the J that's embossed is 3D and it stands up. I don't mind it. I think the packaging itself is very luxurious looking. You do get a nice mirror in here, but I find that my mirror kind of falls easily. It, it just, you know, it's a little bit flimsy, which doesn't bother me, but you do have a nice big mirror in there. And then you have the pans. It says Jacqueline. Everything about the packaging feels very luxurious to me, which does not surprise me because Jacqueline Hill likes the finer things in life. Now this duo in Pink Me Up and Oh Honey, I do find that it suits my light skin very well. I think this would work for fair light, possibly if you're like light tan you might be able to get away with this. I think the quality is great. It's very buildable. It goes on light and you can build it up, but even when it is built up on my skin, you can see it still looks very natural, which I enjoy. I like that there are no specks of glitter. It doesn't even really have a sheen in it, but it's not a flat matte, which someone who has dry skin like me, I really appreciate that and that is what I tend to go for. So I do enjoy this duo. I am liking it. I will definitely get some use out of it. The one con or one of the cons to the face duos is just the shade range. I only have this one shade, but I do trust other people who have picked up multiple shades and said, you kind of get the same looks with the different shades. It would have been nice if she had a more distinct variety, perhaps like a vibrant blush in one and just a little bit more variety. Because at the end of the day, if you're someone like me who hoards makeup and you're a collector, I don't necessarily need three or four shades that look the same on me. I kind of want them to look different if I'm going to have multiples. I am a huge fan of the highlighter. You get the same packaging. It is embossed. I do appreciate the mirror. I don't necessarily think the mirror is necessary in this because it's very tiny, so I'm not going to be using the mirror when I apply my makeup, but 
I love a good mini. I think that the quality is great. I love a very bam in your face kind of highlight. So this is right up my alley. It's definitely what I look for in a highlight. And I think the iced shade works well on my skin. And she does have more of a variety in her highlight shades. Now, the liquid lipstick. I do feel like it's very comfortable on the lips. My lips are sticking together. I applied this, let's see, I started filming this segment three minutes ago. So I applied this probably five to six minutes ago. There still is a bit of a stick. I don't notice it when I'm talking, only if I press my lips together. So if that's something that bothers you, just be aware of that. I don't remember feeling like my lips were sticking together throughout the day. That's something that I'll pay attention to as I'm wearing this, and I'll try to remember to leave a pinned comment and to let you know if that stickiness goes away throughout the day. But it's comfortable on the lips. I feel like you get very high pigment. It does set down to where I didn't have any issues with transferring. And the I'm a Cancer shade is a beautiful dark nude. And I definitely want to pick up more shades of this liquid lipstick when they're available at Ulta. And that's going to do it for this video. Those are my thoughts. Those are my thoughts on Jaclyn Cosmetics. Let me know what you think of her products in the comments down below if you have tried any of them out. Are there any products that you have your eye on? If you did enjoy this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up before you go. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're not already, subscribe, be part of the K-Bella fam. That way I can see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye. Uh -oh. Uh -oh.